Thank you for joining this quick troubleshooting video. In this video, we're going to walk through how to resolve a data invalid error when editing profiles. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need system administrator permissions. If you are encountering the issue but don't have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. Let's say our organization needs to update a custom profile to remove or add permissions. In this particular case, we want to remove the view all permission on the accounts object. Click edit. and remove the view all permission and click save. Uh oh, we are now faced with this error message and are prevented from making any changes. To resolve this, we must update the dependent permissions. However, we cannot do this in the enhanced profile user interface. To switch to the original user interface, navigate to the user management settings, which can be found by typing user management in the quick find box in the setup menu. and select it. Here, we'll want to disable the Enhanced Profile User Interface. Now, let's go back to the profile, refresh the page to prevent any additional errors that may occur. Let's click Edit. And then Save. We need to capture the full message so we can update the permissions accordingly. For our case, we see the permissions activate contract depends on permissions edit contracts edit orders and permission edit case comments depend on permissions edit cases. We need edit access for the contract and orders objects to have activate orders permission enabled. And we need the edit access on cases in order to have the permission edit case comments permissions enabled. So let's make sure that we have the proper access. While still on the edit page, let's take care of the first part of the error and update the permissions for the contracts and orders objects. Now, the second permission we need is edit on cases object, so let's do that as well. We should be able to remove the view all on accounts too. Now, let's save. Great, the errors are now gone and we can now proceed with updating the profile. Finally, don't forget to go back into the user management settings to re-enable the enhanced profile user interface. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce help portal where you can find great resources including communities, documentation, and trails, or you can also contact support. Happy trailblazing!